Hey friends, today we are hanging out in London and I am so excited. We're gonna go out and discover all the amazing, interesting things that you can do in the city and visit some historical places like Buckingham Palace. And I figured I'd make a little video sharing my experiences with you. So we're gonna eat some food, explore the city and have a beautiful London kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. It is such a beautiful day today in London. The temperatures are in the high 60s and I think we're going to start right here. Probably the most historical part of London and make our way to Buckingham Palace. This isn't my first time visiting London. I came last year for Star Wars Celebration with Roosevelt's and I've been so excited to come back. And this time I kind of want to do things that I haven't done before. I'm not an expert and I don't know a lot that's going on, but I love to learn and I know how to find a fun, good time. So uh, I just kind of want to like do new things, but also stick to like the traditional things that you want to do when you come to London. Like you want to go see Big Ben, you want to go to Buckingham Palace, you want to go on a bus tour, like eat the food. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, I'm just excited to share it all with you guys. We're going to make our way over to Buckingham Palace to start out the day. But first, I want to stop and see the horse guard right here. Look at that. There's a sign that says, beware, horses may kick or bite. Wow. Oh, and there's another one right over there, too. Oh. Oh, it's looking at me. <laughs> I don't know why I'm staring right now, but I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. How awesome was that? The horse actually started like nibbling and licking my shirt and I wasn't expecting that. And it was really cool. And they were actually gonna do the change of the horse guard. And uh, like I, I wanted to see the change of the guard over at Buckingham Palace, but it's usually early in the morning at like 10.45. But I think we're gonna catch it here. The changing of the horse guard was so cool. Like, I loved actually how they did everything so fluently, dropping the sword into the holder. It was just really cool to see and uh, be here for that. Like, I wasn't expecting it. Like, I always looked at the changing of the guard at Buckingham Palace, but I didn't even know they did that at that time. And it was just the right time in the right place. Just how it always works out. <laughs> wow, look at this. Huh? <laughs> this is amazing wow a lot of this i didn't see on my first time over that was the first time i ever saw a changing of the guard look at this oh my lord both scotty and justin have never been uh to uh, england before first timers here and usually i'm the person that doesn't know what's going on or where we're going and experiencing new things i know i feel so happy i feel so confident i'll take you i'll show you guys the way but we're going to move along and keep making our way over to uh, Buckingham Palace. Going to cut through uh, the park here. Maybe we'll see the King's Geese. Say it was St. James Park? Yeah. 
Oh, look at that little corgi over there. Like I mentioned, I'm not an expert on things to do in London. I just like seeking out cool places and fun times. And I usually ask around and I go to pubs and I'm like, hey, where's the best place to eat in this area? Sometimes people say you're in it and other people just tell you their favorite spots. But if you guys have any recommendations, let me know in the comments so I can check them out. And if people are planning a trip to London, they can also read the comments too and get ideas of maybe something they want to do. You know what I mean? It's, it's kind of fun because every time I go into a city I always find places that I want to recommend to people and I feel like that's the best way to you know find the good spots is word of mouth the last time I came to London one of my favorite things was just walking through this park it's just so beautiful and like I said at the end you get to see Buckingham Palace and now I got a little coffee people are petting the squirrels literally literally petting the squirrels <laughs> that is so I love it here. Whoa, there goes a pigeon. <laughs> Just mind the horse poop as you're walking along. <laughs> I've noticed that I've been saying mind and right a lot since we got here. Yeah. Instead of saying hello, I'm like, all right then, you're right then. You're starting to speak in proper English. Yeah, it's crazy. It just kind of rubs off. They have a little map here to show you exactly where you want to go. Right here is where we started our day at the horse guards. We walked through here and all the way through the park down to Buckingham Palace. I think we're right about right here. There. So we got a little ways to go, but we're almost there. Like gotta go see the king. I am not much of a planner and I really love the surprise of like finding something really cool to do you know what I mean you have to plan some things but when you just show up in the right place at the right time like there for the changing of the horse guard it's such a great feeling so that's why I try not to plan as much because the the excitement from the surprise and the shock it's such a great feeling and I love it but sometimes it backfires I'll be honest sometimes you you know you plan things they don't go according to plan and then sometimes you try to wing it and uh you need a plan so it's all just rolling the dice and having fun that's how I look at it Oh boy, there it is, Buckingham Palace. Look at all that gold. Wow. You guys think you'd be at Buckingham Palace today? Yeah, no. Never, right? <laughs> We're walking through the Golden Gates. We're standing right out front of Buckingham Palace now. <laughs> I know, this is something else, isn't it? This is just so cool. I know, we need to take a picture, guys. <laughs> Once you get up to Buckingham Palace, there's not much to do except for take photos and stare at how amazing it is. Like, look at that. This is uh, the big gate right there. They do have, like, tours that they do, but I think they're very hard to get. And also, like, just coming hanging out right here at these monuments... Like, this is, like, the coolest thing ever. Like, if I wanted to come somewhere to come up with a great idea, I think on those steps is where it should be. Buckingham Palace was so cool, and I'm glad that I got to take Scotty and Justin to go see it. Uh, but now I think we're going to start making our way more towards Big Ben, and we want to do a bus tour. Like, you know, I just want to go on one of the red buses that have, like, the top open and uh, listen to Spice Girls. We decided to start making our way down to Big Ben. Fun fact, Big Ben is the name of the bell inside, not the actual clock tower. I learned that last time I was here. But still, I like to look at it. Hey kids, look, it's Big Ben. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> I can't go left. <laughs> look at the line of people trying to get in the photo booth over there. It's a good spot to get a photo though. Because you get Big Ben in the background there. I have to just go inside for a second. I wonder if I could call my mom. Does anybody have any change? It doesn't work. <laughs> Hello? Mom? I love how they have little uh, signs letting people know where to look for traffic. On this side, you gotta look right. On the other side, look left. And we made it. Here's the red lion. Wow. This is such a cool old pub. Look at this. No carpet, though. Maybe we'll get ourselves a London Pride. It's history about everything. Like, you walk into a pub and you find out so many interesting facts. Centuries later, with the inn trading as the Red Lion, a young Charles Dickens became a regular. 
This is Charles Dickens' regular spot. Like seriously, I love the fact that there's so much history everywhere you look over here. And now I'm sitting here in Charles Dickens' favorite pub, drinking a beer. They have another part of the bar that's upstairs. And I kind of want to go up and explore a little bit, but these steps are pretty steep. <laughs> I honestly feel like I'm in kind of a Harry Potter attraction with the pictures on the walls here. Oh, wow. Look at it in here. This is so cool. <laughs> they got that roped off down there, but I bet you there's something good down there. Push to open. Oh, hello there. <laughs> okay, well, we got a pint in us, and it's time to go see more of the city, and we're going to try to find a bus, and I'm just going to find one that looks cool. Like, <laughs> that's the best way to do it. You'll see people handing out pamphlets left and right. It's not like a scam, per se, because they're just trying to sell tickets to the bus, but there's so many options. I don't want to use any of those buses because yeah, the top's not open, and I kind of just want to have... Yeah, that's the one. I want to, I just want to have my hair, like, blowing in the wind. <sighs> feel, it, feel, it, feel, it. feel it, right? I smell fish and chips. Look at that. Hey, kids, look, it's Big Ben. I'm going to keep saying that. <laughs> hey, kids, look, it's Big Ben. <laughs> we know. <laughs> you, as I was talking before, you have plenty of options to actually get a bus. You can see <laughs> the better one. Golden Tour, Toot, Toot. Yeah. The, the big house, <laughs> top view, yeah, <laughs> the big house, big yeah, bus. <laughs> I don't know which one to pick. They're all the same prices, but everyone's telling me one's better than the other. Live guide, live guide. Ask him if he's got a live guide on every bus. Do you have a live guide on every blue bus? Every view bus. Every view bus. Every view bus. All right. All right. Well, I don't know how to pick because you guys are all presenting me with great choices. It's a very easy choice. I feel like I'm on The Bachelor. Oh yeah. To be honest, like I'm gonna have to give somebody a rose here. Yeah. And what color is a rose, sir? Uh, a red rose. Oh yeah. And what's this color? <laughs> you really we have got the, the unique bus. color. If I you want to see the red buses, to. you <laughs> sit on the blue buses and see the red buses. <laughs> honestly, yeah. England flag. No one yeah. one you guys, one yeah. honestly, I think I'm going to go with the red line. Yeah, yeah. the red one. The, the red line. one. No one. Top big view line. red one. Oh, big that is a big, big map. Line. Yeah, big wow, line. look at that That's big red line. Also, customers already. Look how many we've got. Oh, true, oh, true. Oh, is your company in London, guys? Tell me. What difference does it make? No, no, no. Tell me, tell me. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask this you. is important stuff right now. Yeah. Let me ask History. You. 40 years. 40 years. No, no. 40 years, years that Golden Tours has been... 1951. 1951. 2023. 2023. 2023. Broski. But hear this, yeah? He's what? more advanced. Yes, I'm more advanced. <laughs> and now a second question. Where is your company originated? When? Where? Where's two bus from? No, France, 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 well, that was interesting, but we decided on, I don't even know which one we decided on. They flipped a coin, and I think we're doing the big red bus. Are we doing the big red bus, or are we doing top uh, view? Top view. Top view. Top view is the one. Did we want oh, to take here comes our bus. Nope. Nope. That's not, a, that's not our bus. Wrong choice. Wrong choice. Oh, big bus. <laughs> big bus. Big bus just behind, guys. Oh. Uh, big bus. Not behind. Well, one of these buses... It's not like the other. <laughs> Thank you. No, this one. You got same same bus. Hello, how are you? All right. Thank you, sir. Where do you pick the headphones up at? Over there. Oh, they even have ponchos. I'll take a couple of those. <laughs> oh, we're going up. <laughs> Guys, can you believe it? We're on a bus. Oh, my Lord, we're moving. Huh? I brought your headphones, guys. I think you just plugged them in over here somewhere. Right under the headphones. 
Oh, I gotta untangle them. You guys got your earbuds in? Yeah, it is. It's like an audio. I don't know if my camera's picking it up, but it's here. It's in my ear. We were trying to leave, but we weren't quick enough, and now the bus is leaving. Looks like we're getting off the next stop. And just like that, we went from a uh, sightseeing bus to a public bus. <laughs> we were gonna get off at the site, uh, the stop before Tower Bridge, uh, but uh, it, it happened so fast that we didn't get done, and they already moved along. So now we have to go back and walk over the bridge. I honestly feel like walking across to uh, Tower Bridge is better than driving. It looks so amazing, doesn't it? We're starting to get a little hungry, so we're gonna find somewhere to grab something to eat. But we do have dinner reservations at a nice little restaurant later on that I'm excited to take you to because I've been there and I love it. It's also kind of cool how the walkways are wider than the roads itself. Look, <laughs> look, look at all the room that you have to walk and then there's just two lanes both going in different directions on the uh, bridge itself. And you can actually go with it, explore inside Tower Bridge. I don't know how far you can go up, but that's kind of cool. We found a nice little pub called Tower Bridge Arms and it's right literally off Tower Bridge and we decided to just stop, grab some light snacks and maybe a pint and just hang out and then we gotta go meet up with the rest of the crew and get ready for our night out on the town and dinner later on. Literally Tower Bridge is right there and this is the Tower Bridge Arms and they got wings on the menu. Look at that. Wings, they've got roast. Oh, I might get a roast. I honestly think I might get a roast, guys. This is a nice little pub and they've got flowers on the table. Oh, they, they got prickers on them. Don't touch the flowers, guys. Look at They've literally got thorns on them. I don't even know what kind of plant this is. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers boys. Delicious. Like room temperature beer. Yeah, room temperature beer. Well, one of the things I learned about beer, uh, especially in London, is that the percentage is usually lower because a lot of people like to drink for a long periods of time. And uh, I think this beer is like 3.9%. You know what I mean? It's lower than a Bud Light or 4% even on the dot, which is kind of amazing. And the sun is making it glycerin. <laughs> I ended up getting... Uh, steak and chips. Okay. Steak and <laughs> you chips. went from like one end of the menu to the other end of the menu. Well, because I want to eat like more traditional English food. Yeah. But I kind of been craving a steak. <laughs> Love it. My food hasn't come out yet, but what did you get? A chicken sandwich? It's called the Cluck Norris. That looks amazing. <laughs> and what's going on with the chicken wings? Uh, they look like they got some pickled onions on Some pickled them. onions? But uh, Korean barbecue. Oh, and then here's the bangers and mash Justin got. I'm still waiting for my steak and chips. My steak and chips have arrived, and I'm still shocked that this was only 14 pounds. And uh, like, that's pretty amazing for a steak dinner, especially when you do the conversion on it. And I also took a little chicken wing. I gotta try the chicken wing, and I got a tomato. I'm gonna try this wing first. Scotty gave me one of his wings. 
I don't want the pickled onions on it though. Here we go. Wow. That breading is amazing. Now it's time to dive into this steak and it looks like they butterflied it. Little gravy. Ooh. I really wanted to get a Sunday roast, but I couldn't get it today. It says on the menu Sundays only, but this is pretty good. Actually, the more and more I take bites, I think I'm liking it a lot more. I was not expecting this steak to be as good as it is. This is phenomenal. Very nicely seasoned, a little bit overcooked though, I have to say. I asked for uh, like medium, and it ended up a little more medium well, but I love the big chips. You gotta get the steak chip combo bite with a little of the gravy. <laughs> Everything about my meal was good, but I love that gravy. And then I see that they've got a little sticky toffee pudding that comes with ice cream or custard. So I think I'm gonna indulge. Indulge in a sticky toffee pudding. Here it is. I asked for ice cream and custard because I wanted to try the custard. I feel like I'm gonna like it. I should just dump it on there. Do should I do the custard pour? Yeah. I'm gonna do it. Yeah. That was not graceful. Kind of like holiday sauce. It does look like. Am I getting eggs Benedict here? Mm. Ooh, hot. <laughs> it's so good though. Holy moly, guys! Wow. This honestly is so good. It's so soft. It's kind of like. Well, it's not cakey. It's like hot cakey. Like, I don't know how to explain it. I guess I can say it's like sticky toffee pudding. <laughs> that reminds me of like whenever we would have like banquet dinners for like. Oh, like, yeah. Hockey, that bring out that <laughs> oh, my lord, I love that. TV dinner brownies were the best thing ever. Throw a little ice cream on top of that. That's the way. Oh, I didn't even try the ice cream because I, I didn't know if I was going to like the custard, but I love the custard. Try the uh, vanilla bean. I might try a little, a little ice cream custard chocolate pudding mix. The steak was good, but the toffee pudding was phenomenal. And I like the custard on it too. It was really cool how you pour it out. It was like hot custard. Uh, but now I think we're gonna head back to Excel because that's where MCM is happening. Get ready to link up with the rest of the crew and go hang out maybe down on Brick Lane, maybe over to the Pride of Spitterfields and uh, out to eat at uh, one of my favorite restaurants in London. We're making our way down to the Spitalfield area, and I love these little back alleyways. Look at this. Yeah, it does remind me of Japan a little bit. Look at all, it's really cool. Lined with shops and pubs, little restaurant in there. Fancy. The Shum is one of my favorite places to eat here in London. I ate here last year, and I'm not a very adventurous eater. I mean, I'm adventurous in meaning I will try anything, but I guess my taste buds aren't adventurous because I don't like a lot of food. And when I first came to this restaurant, I was like, I'm looking at the menu, and I'm like, oh boy, I don't know what I'm going to eat. But I ended up loving everything, so I wanted to come back and show you guys and uh, eat there again. Before we get to the restaurant, I wanted to stop down on Brick Lane because there's a picture I want to get. And I love Brick Lane. It's so beautiful. And it's known for having the best uh, food in London. Like, it's an like iconic spot. And, uh, yeah, like I said, I got a little, little mission I'm trying to accomplish. The last time I was in London, we came down and explored Brick Lane, and it was a night I wasn't making a video, and it has some of the best pubs and food you can find in London, and there's a place called Rough Trade, uh, where me and my friend Steve actually took a photo together, and it's hanging on the uh, photo booth wall, so I'm going to ask if I can go in and actually retrieve it and keep it because he passed away, uh, and hopefully they allow me to, and hopefully it's still there, but I think we, we definitely need to find out. Luckily, I have all of my Instagram stories so I can find it. Look at that. There's me and Steve right there. How'd it come out? I love it! Nailed <laughs> it! Nailed it! Memories, baby! Memories! Look at that. I love it. We gotta get it. 
Oh boy, it looks like we might not be able to get into rough trade today. They have a show tonight, Beth Gibbons, and it looks like it's closed and there's a lot of people waiting to get in. But I'm going to still try. Okay, some have fallen back there. Oh my lord, it might be there. <laughs> we found it. <laughs> Look at it was behind the thing. Oh my lord. I am so happy right now. I probably would have been heartbroken if I left London without this photo. And I called them uh, and I asked them like when I heard the news about Steve because I immediately thought about our trip to London. And uh, they said that as long as we put it up there, nobody would take it down. And when I got in there, I didn't see it and I was panicking. And kudos to Rough Trade because they first, they called the photo booth people and they were able to email me a copy of the photo. But then they were like, oh, maybe it slid behind this little thing. And there it was. We opened up the thing and the picture fell out and it was actually face down. And then I turned it over. It was like the greatest happiness like moment ever. And I'm just so happy that I got it. Like, you know, it's a memory. It's, it's something that I'm going to cherish forever. Look at that. Mission complete. I don't even know what kind of faces we were trying to make, but I love it. And now that we've completed our mission, it's time to get something to eat. And I'm so excited. I did actually film this last time, but it was way too dark. And I said, I remember I was like, I got to come back and show this a little bit better. So now I get to show you guys the amazing food. This shoom is a lot of Indian street food, and normally I don't like Indian food, but last time I came here, I loved all of it. And I remember, like I said, it was really dark in there, so I really couldn't show the food. So now I get to actually show you guys a little bit more of the restaurant itself and uh, a better look at the food itself, because like I said, I loved everything. This restaurant always has a long wait, and we actually tried to get in here the other day, and it was like a two-hour wait, but today we have reservations, and I think my friends are in there already waiting for me, so we're going to be able to just walk in, but it's cool because they actually give you drinks in the line while you wait. Here is a look at the menu, and uh, it's a lot of small plates. I remember we just ordered like one of everything, and I'm sure we're gonna do that today. But you can see they've got uh, some nice kebabs on there, spicy lamb chops, uh, okra fries. I remember those okra fries were so good. I mean, like I said, there is a lot to take in, and the chicken is fantastic. I got it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Why'd they put all the bread in front of me and you, Scotty? <laughs> right? Look at this. Oh, yeah. I think also we're going to get uh, probably some prawns and some chicken on the menu. You can see a little bit more here, but I want to get to the bread. Will you break me off a piece of that? Nah, bread. <laughs> Oh wow, look at that food. <laughs> Holy <laughs> moly. Yeah, Wrong I'll table. <laughs> wow. Honestly, that all looks good. <laughs> Lamb chops, tikka, some prawns over there. Oh. Oh, we got more? Holy moly. So, you have spiced lamb chops, spiced tiki, tiki masala, and this is the chef special shrimp. This is the tikka shrimp. You have a tikka masala roll, gunpowder uh, potatoes, more shrimp, and then there's gonna be black dal, and then this is ruby chicken. So this is the spicy chicken. What's that DTH over there? Black dal, rice. That's more of the <laughs> ruby chicken. Cage free. Cage free? I think I'm going prawns first. Look at that. Charred, unbelievably amazing. It's charred so much the tail just might actually fall off. But cheers! Yeah, that honestly, this might be the best shrimp I've ever had. Like quality wise, it's so flavorful. But now I want to dive into the chicken. I gotta get me some of this chicken. I don't remember exactly what chicken I had last time, but I'm pretty sure this is the same one. Chickpea. It's a special black doll. 
I didn't know that. Makes sense. Oh, here's the other shrimp too. This one, I'm gonna lose my stuff. Oh, look at that. Scoop Seab Shrimpy. I've eaten two items and I'm already sweating bullets. Like literally. I'm not very good with the heat. I like making little sandwiches too with the knob bread and the chicken is so good with it. I mean, honestly, like I, I, I still think that shrimp was my favorite. Everything else is great, but I'm gonna remember that shrimp. This shoom was amazing, just like I remember. And honestly, the, the shrimp was my favorite thing this time. It was just so, it was just like the quality of shrimp that like I just never had anything like that before. Uh, now I think we're gonna make our way maybe back down to Brick Lane and check out the Pride of Spitterfield. The Pride of Spitterfield is one of my favorite pubs to actually go to whenever I come to London. And I love walking this way because it, it's a really cool, uh, artsy little tunnel down here. One of the videos I did last year, I literally just spent a day roaming London and just walking around with no direction, just taking paths and, you know, just kind of like living it up. And I kind of got familiar with the area and I kind of love that. This whole area over here has tons of graffiti and artwork all along the walls. And, you know, honestly, when you're walking through here at night, there's not that many people. And it's kind of a little, like, a little scary. And Brick Lane is uh, a known uh, stomping ground for Jack the Ripper in that time. Oh, is that Mickey Mouse's hand? I love how I'm just mid-talk about Jack the Ripper. And then all of a sudden I'm like, oh, is that Mickey Mouse's hand? This isn't like normal graffiti though. This is like art. It's so beautiful. I mean, I'm sure they keep it clean and other people do stuff. You have this side that looks all nice and they got a fox and a rabbit here. And then you got this side, you know? And then it just stops and uh, you're back on a normal street. Look at that, night and day fun story about the Pride of Spitterfield. We came here last year and it was late in the evening and uh, it was packed in there and we were, I think there was like five of us and you know, we're all dressed out in our Roosevelt's obviously, look like we're from the States and we walked in there and it was so busy and like we stood out so much. So we like stuck around, had a drink or two and then uh, we left and John, he, uh, he actually stopped at a pizza place and bought a bunch of pizza and we walked back to the Pride of Spitterfield and brought everybody pizza and they locked the doors and just hung out with us all night. It was like one of the greatest things. So coming back here, I'm just so excited. Another fun fact about Brick Lane, it actually has some of the world's best uh, Indian curries. Like all these shops are literally well, like world renowned. The best Indian restaurant in Brick Lane right here, Jasmine. Honestly, I don't even know if we're going to be able to get into the pride of Spitterfields. <laughs> I, I mean, this is so popular. Holy moly. We're going to go in. <laughs> it is exactly what I remember. A proper pub. And uh, it's packed. It's so packed in here. Look at this. <laughs> I love how tiny this bar is. It's like such a, it's like a little tiny bar and this place is so packed. Cheers, gentlemen. Game on. The Pride of Spitterfields was so much fun and I love just hanging out on Brick Lane itself. And it was cool, the cars were going like through the thing and everyone had to move. And it was kind of like Wayne's World. It's like, game on! And I loved it. But now I think we're gonna start making our way back to MCM and uh, to the Excel London and uh, wrapping it up for a night. I noticed that it is still daylight out and it is late. Like they said in the summers, it doesn't like get dark until like 10 o'clock at night here. And I think that's amazing. I wanted to show you guys my hotel room because I think it's so cool. It's like I have a whole apartment in here. Look at this. And you have to use uh, your key. 
I've seen a lot of hotels that are like, you gotta put your key in the spot to turn the lights on. Just like that. But yeah, here is my hotel in London. I got a nice little uh, small bathroom here, a table, a TV, a couch, a big closet over here. We've got some shirts that are gonna be coming out for uh, MCM. I love this Mickey soccer print one right here. Isn't that pretty? I love this one. And then I got the bathroom and bedroom over here. Huge bathroom. Goes all the way down, got plenty of storage space. And then a nice little uh, bedroom. And I guess with that, we're just going to call it a night. I had a lot of fun exploring London, but I have to get ready for uh, MCM tomorrow. I'm doing a little meet and greet uh, from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. They're going to be uh, selling the shirts like this one I have. This is a MCM London exclusive, but I had a lot of fun. And I'm so happy that we came to London. I'm happy that I got to do all the things that I wanted to do. And uh, on to another adventure because uh, I didn't come all the way out to London not to go go to one of my favorite places in the world. So stay tuned for the videos and once again, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.